Hello everybody and welcome to Legal Concepts, educational videos for the study of law. Hello everyone, so we're going to be looking at the case of Dickinson and Dodds 1876. So this is a case that you're going to learn at the very beginning of studying contract law and you're going to be looking at it when you're studying offer and acceptance. So when somebody makes an offer, if they change their mind, they need to revoke or withdraw their offer. So this case is authority for looking at when that has been done effectively. OK, so what we want to look at is the facts of the case. So what happened? So here the defendant offered to sell a house to the claimant. And the offer was to be left open until Friday, June the 12th until 9 a.m. On the 11th of June, the defendant sold the house to a third party, Mr. Allen. And the claimant heard about the sale through another person. Before the expiry of the original offer on the tw uh, for the 12th of June, the claimant handed the defendant a letter stating that he was accepting the offer. And the Court of Appeal had to decide whether the revocation of the offer had been effective, even though it had not been directly communicated to the claimant, Mr. Dickinson. And what the Court of Appeal said is that revocation usually does have to be communicated effectively for in order for it to be effective to the person to whom the offer was being made. But through this case, they realised and decided that actually this can be effectively communicated if it's done through a reliable third source. So when Mr. Allen, the third party, informed the claimant that it had been sold to another person. Therefore, this was seen as effective withdrawal of the offer. So the point of law is this. An offer can be withdrawn. It can be revoked. If the offeror or some other reliable source has communicated that. So Dickinson and Dodds is a really good case for you to use in problem scenarios and talk about the different ways that it can be effective. So if you're presented with a problem scenario and it's not the person who originally made the offer, you can ask the question, is that person, that third party, a reliable source? If it's a reliable source, then that offer might have been withdrawn or revoked and the authority would be this case Dickinson and Dodds. I really hope that you liked listening to this video and if you'd like more videos then please take the time to subscribe and like. Thanks!